Hello all, welcome to part 13 of TestNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to enable or disable the test cases from execution using enabled attribute in TestNG XML file. So let's get started. So there is a attribute that we can use in TestNG XML file that is called as enabled attribute. By using that attribute in TestNG.XML file, we can either enable or disable the test cases. Okay, so by adding this enabled is equal to false, the test will be disabled from execution. If you say enabled is equal to true, the test will be enabled. Or by default, if you don't specify this enabled attribute, by default, enabled is equal to true will be, okay? If you have not specified also, it is true only, okay? But if you explicitly specify it as enabled is equal to false, then the test under the test tag of test change XML file will be disabled from execution. So let me practically show you so that you can understand all these things, okay? Let me open the Eclipse ID. I'll open this login.java, okay? Uh, there is one test, guys, one test method in this login dot java file that is verify user login with valid credentials test okay i'll go to the testng.xml file so here also it is included guys you see verify user login with valid credentials the same test method that i am talking about here is mentioned in the testng.xml file and if you see this test tag there is no attribute mentioned as enabled you see only two attributes are there threat count don't worry about that now and name is equal to okay but is there any other uh, other attribute like enabled here there is no other attribute okay in such cases by default enabled is true okay if it's not specified enabled is true that means the test methods that are specified inside this test tags will be executed okay run this code you see the script will run the the test method will run it will open the chrome browser open the application url and all those stuff okay will open the application url so if it's taking time, guys, just press enter. This is a demo application, real-time application. You don't have to do that, but uh, just for dummy, just to save time, I'm doing that. So it, it got executed, guys, no problem. If I go to testng.xml file, and if I explicitly provide enabled is equal to false now, okay? Enabled is equal to, this is the attribute that I can provide in the test tags of testng.xml file. And if I provide false here, in this case, what will happen is, the test methods which are specified inside this test stack, okay, this is a test method, right? That is verify user login with, this will not be executed because this is part of the test stack because enabled is called false. This particular test will not be executed now using the testng.xml file. Run testng.xml file. This time you see zero, zero test will run. Zero test got run, zero got passed, failed and skipped, okay? So nothing got executed. But what if I explicitly make it True, okay, either if I don't provide it is also enabled is equal to true. If I provide explicitly as true also, it will be enabled, okay? This particular test method will be executed now, right click run as test ng suit. Just see here, the test is getting executed again, guys, okay? The test is getting executed again, done, okay? It got passed. So this is how we can use uh, enabled attribute Okay, in testng XML file to either enable the test methods which are inside this test tag or disable the test methods inside this test tag. For now, I'll remove this. Okay, I'll remove this so that it will not cause confusion for the coming scenarios or upcoming uh, sessions. Okay, so guys, that's all about how to enable or disable the test cases from execution using the enabled attribute in testng XML file. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another testing topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.